Hello everyone. Today our question for discussion is very important one. In this, it's given that solve graphically the system of linear equation. We are given with two equations. We have to solve them by graphically. Then what else we have to do? We have to determine the vertices of the triangle formed by these lines and x-axis. And after that, whatever region is open, that is obviously triangle because it is given that we have to find out the area of the triangle. So let us see how we can draw them graphically. Our first equation is 4x minus 5y plus 16 is equal to 0. So let me take this plus 16 as is equal to minus 16. 16. Now we have to find out the values as I told you how to work out for these values. Any two values is to be required for plotting the graph. This is x and this is y. Okay. Now just see here. If you take y0, if you take y0, you get x is equal to minus 16 divided by 4 and that is minus 4. Okay. Now if I take x0, then 16 will not be divided by 4. So, we won't be getting the integral value. So, what I will do is, I will take, which value I should take? Like, if I take x1, just see here. If I take x1, this will become 4. When this 4 comes to the right hand side, becomes minus 4. And minus 16 minus 4 is minus 20. So, minus 20 divided by minus 5 will give you 4. Okay, so here it is 4. You can just check it. If x is equal to 1 and this here 4, so minus 20 and plus 4 is minus 16. So we got two coordinates that is minus 4 and 0 and here we got 1 and 4. Okay, now our next equation is 2x. Okay, so we can take here itself that is 2x plus y is equal to 6. Again, we will be doing the same thing. We will just make the box and we will find out the two values x and y. It's a very simple one. Let me take x0. I will be getting y6. If I take y0, x is equal to 3. Actually, taking 0 is very comfortable. If you find any other value, you can go with that. If there is any problem with 0, like you are not getting integral value, then only you avoid. Otherwise, your first priority you give to the zeros. So, you can see here x is 0, y is equal to 6 and if y is 0, x is equal to 3. So, we have got the ordered pair here that is 0, 6 and 3, 0. You know, when writing the order pair, your x coordinate will come first and y will come second. Now, let us make the graph. See the values here. X is required minus 4. Till minus 4 we should move. And Y positive 6. Okay. So, you can see here X is minus 4. Right? Let me take it this way. Okay. So, this is my value. This is here 1, 2, 3, 4. Highest value in y is required 6. So, up to 6 I will be labeling 5. And here it is 6. And this is your 5. Right? Here it is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. And this will go up to minus x axis. Is any negative value is required for y? No. So, you just keep it this way. Minus y. Just one value you can take that is sufficient. And for x we need up to 3. So it is up to us. 1, 2, 3. We can take one more value 4. And this is our positive x. And this is our origin o. Okay. Now just see. We will plot the point. Minus 4 and 0. So this is the point. Minus 4 and 0. Next is 1 and 4. So, it is 1 and 4. Obviously, it is this point. And then we have to make this as, we have to join these two lines. So, this is how you can join them with the help of C. 
skate. Just do it with the help of skate students. Okay. Now we have made one graph. Which graph is this? 4x. You can write here. 4x minus 5y plus 16 is equal to 0. Our next equation 2x plus 5 is equal to 6. One point is 0, 6. So here is that point 0, 6. And the other one is 3, 0. So here it is 3, 0. Now we have to join them. So let us see how can we join them. First, Can see here so 06 this is the point 06 here this one is your 06 this is 30 and this line is your 2x plus y is equal to 6 okay now what is asked determine the vertices of the triangle okay now you can see this vertices is your 1 and 4 okay you can rub this one because this, is, this I have taken for plotting it yeah, this one is minus 4, 0 and this is your 3, 0. You can label them. This is A and this is B and this is C. Okay. Now, determine the vertices of the triangle formed by these line and the x-axis. You know, this is your x-axis. Moreover, one more thing I have added here. Find the area of the triangle. You know, area of the triangle is half base into height. So, if in the question it is asked that you have to shade the area, then shading will be done in this way. Okay. So, this is the shading of the triangle. You can see this is what we are, this is our triangle. Okay. Now, your area, area is equal to half base into height. Okay. I just say half base children. Just count from here to here. Okay. You can see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And the other way is here it is 3. 3 minus minus 4 that will give you 7. So what is the total length of BC base that is 7. So this is your 7. Height is your the distance this y axis. Okay. Now just see what is the distance here 4. So what will the height of the triangle Altitude that is 4, 2 1s are, 2 2s are. So your area is 14 square unit. The area is 14 square unit. In this way, you can find out the area by the lines x axis and also by the line y axis. Suppose in the same question, if it is asked area by this line and y axis, so you can see one line this, another one is this. And between these two lines, this is the y-axis. So you can find out the area here also. Suppose if area is asked here, you can see how many bases there. 1, 2, 3. Okay. And what will be the height? That is 1. So it depends upon question what is asked. But the method of doing will be your related with the basics. That is area of the triangle is half base into height. Height accordingly you will work out. Base I told you. You can count and you can do it in this way also. 3 minus minus 4 that will give you 7 and in this way this question is work out. Thank you.